I can't believe it. Less than 50, sis. 50. Wow. That's a <laughs> milestone, isn't it? Yes. Wow, it's amazing. So these are all the undoing lessons. Yes. Hmm. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for yeah. joining us again. Thank yeah, you. welcome back. Lesson 50, I am sustained by the love of God. Um, How great um, is that? You know what? Huh. Many years ago, I had a dream where Jesus came to me and he introduced one slight adjustment to lesson 50 yeah. that changed a lot for me. And this was it. I am sustained exclusively by the love of God. Uh, yeah, because you might, the ego might say, and, 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 and by the love of God and my job and my gym membership and my supplements and my polka dot bikinis, my inheritance. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Good. I am sustained exclusively by the love of God. We should write to him and ask him to make that change there. <laughs> this is the answer to every problem that confronts you today and tomorrow and throughout time. And this world, am I supposed to be reading? Yes. Okay. In this world, you believe you are sustained by everything but God. Your faith is placed in the most trivial and insane symbols pills, money, protective clothing, influence, prestige, being liked, knowing the right people, and an endless list of forms of nothingness, which you endow with magical power. Ouch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'd like to add to that. And it yeah. took me like 20 years, but I finally got it afterwards. Um, it doesn't matter when we get it, as long as we get it, is that all these things that we place our faith in, that we believe sustain us, um, are actually external projections, right? Yeah. But the external phenomena yes. that we made up in our mind, when we've, we've created form, mm -hmm. matter, and then we rely on all of these things right. to sustain the illusion of the body and the illusion of mythical me, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's a total defiance that what we are is, in truth is the expression of God. An expression is effortless and God is the source and supplier of everything. But you know, if we are mythical me cut off from God, well then we need to, we're in charge of ourselves. We've got to sustain ourselves and we've got all these symbols in our mind as the replacements for God. So we think we know how to save our life, right? We think we're the author and finisher of our lives, yes, and that we're in charge of it and that we've got to prolong it and protect it. All the while, you know, in the, you know, the unconscious ego iceberg, what's on the central altar is the ego's desire for our physical death, right? Yeah, so that's the unconscious goal for the ego. So the more we try and save our own life apart from God, the more we secretly condemn the body to death. Right. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Just want to bring it home. That's all. No, that's that's <laughs> that's it. Mythical me is a death wish. That's that gap diagram. It's a tombstone. Everything in it, the body, and everything else that we do for it and to protect it, really, all of that's the attraction to guilt and our own, the mythical me's death. So back to the endless list of forms of nothingness, which we endow with magical power. He says, all these things are your replacements for the love of God. All these things are cherished to ensure a body identification. They are songs of praise to the ego. Do not put your faith in the worthless. It will not sustain you. Only the love of God will protect you in all circumstances. It will lift you out of every trial and raise you high above all the perceived dangers of this world into a climate of perfect peace and safety. 
It will transport you into a state of mind in which nothing can threaten, nothing can disturb, and nothing can intrude upon the eternal calm of the Son of God. Put not your faith in illusions, they will fail you. Put all your faith in the love of God within you, eternal, changeless, and forever unfailing. This is the answer to whatever confronts you today. Through the love of God in you, you can resolve all seeming difficulties without effort and ensure confidence. Tell yourself this often today. It is your declaration of release from the belief in idols. It is your acknowledgement of the truth about yourself. For 10 minutes twice today, morning and evening, let the idea for today, I am sustained by the love of God, sink deep into your consciousness. Repeat it, think about it, let related thoughts come to help you recognize its truth and allow peace to flow over you like a blanket of protection and surety. Let no idle and foolish thoughts enter to disturb the holy mind of the Son of God. Such is the kingdom of heaven. Such is the resting place where your Father has placed you forever. Oh, I think that's worth Ooh. printing, copying, taping on the, wall. on the inside of our eyelids. That's right. Yep. Absolutely. You know, sis, while you were reading that, a thought came in and I tried to push it away at first and it came in a second time. So I went, okay, I better listen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> this is this is what came through. So I'd like to share it. Is that we just read lesson 50. I am sustained by the love of God. All right. I'm I'm, I'm feeling that many who have joined us on this ASIM lessons journey, many of you are um, what I would call within a family situation, uh, uh, friends, family friends especially, uh, whereby I would call you um, pioneers. Mm. the pioneer in your particular family or friend constellation like a constellation right. and I would say that many of you are the first to start to study this thought system A Course in Miracles and um, it's extremely lonely to do this because you're finding you're going to be finding that there's a con you know conflict come up because other people friends family may not believe what you're doing here and at the same time so it it kind of causes what feels like a separation right you went through this sis i went through it too and many um in our classes have also experienced this so it is I would say it's vital, really, to be able to have at least one other person, preferably a group, mm -hmm. to be in contact with them at least once a week to support you during this period, to support each other, right. because that's how Holy Spirit comes through, because, you know, Holy Spirit will come through somebody else in the group uh, for you, and Holy Spirit will come through you for somebody else in the group as well. That's how we he that we really hear Holy Spirit's voice or sense His presence when we our heart wants to reach out to help somebody else, you right. know. And so I would encourage you at this point, we're at fifty, lesson fifty. If you haven't already mm -hmm. uh, joined a TTC group, online group here with us, which is the Total Transformation Course, mm -hmm. I would. Uh, Definitely. Yes. I agree. Yeah. Sign on, sign up or whatever. 
yeah, yeah. okay yeah. just helps so much mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah i'll put the link at the bottom okay great for the registration for the ttc the information it's the whole page it tells you about it there's testimonials and then if it pings for you um there'll be a place for you to register for it so thanks sis i think that's a great yeah great idea to add that at this point in time because we we do start feeling like an alien and if we're the only one in our family or our group that um is on a spiritual path it can seem very lonely and like yesterday's or the preceding lesson about how god's voice speaks to me all through the day god's voice will speak through you know our miracle buddies or our mighty companions that um are on the same path with us and that is so necessary because the ego will jump on that and say, yes, you're all alone. What are you doing this for? You know, let's just go back to sleep. We don't really need this, right? <laughs> yeah, so miracle buddies in our online uh, spiritual family. Boy, I, I, I don't know where I'd be today if it wasn't for my spiritual family. They bring that sense of family that no bloodline could ever do. I'm their priceless gift and they, they truly are saving my life. Yep, giving me a sense of real life yeah yeah i just want that for you we're not doing a sales pitch you guys we just believe in this we walk it talk it breathe it and we just want you to experience this for yourself yeah, yeah. go check it out good yeah thank okay. you everyone i think that, that's it we'll be doing the review lessons next mm -hmm. um and we thank you for joining us yep. and thank you sis thank you sis Thanks for all the, the blogs and the diagrams and the manual and the books and for doing this with us. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it's my joy. I have nothing else to do. No, there is but nothing else to do, but you do. You know, when, yeah, when, we, when, when you get to this um, stage of the development of trust, mm -hmm. all you want to do is serve. You want to give. That's it. That's yes. right. Because only yeah. what you can share is real. Otherwise, yeah. we're just... Yeah, it's the ego doing it because it's selfish. Selfish. Yeah. Thank you. All right, everybody. We'll see you with the review sections. Thanks for joining us on lesson 50. I am sustained by the love of God. Bye. Bye.